Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, and hello. My name is Ian Keith, and I think washing five dishes in a sink counts as a productive day. But it's not about me. It's about our players and the classic Tetris Monthly July 2022 Masters event. Look right up there, Emmy Orange. That's happening right now. The orange bracket, we got four amazing players. Off, Michaela, Kalala, if you will. Keys and Asian. So, I mean, we've got a couple hover threes. We've got a ton of people ready to see this. We've got an orange bracket to kick off. As I like to put it. No reason to delay. It is time to play. Game number one in. Three, two, one. Tetris. And our number one versus number 16 match kicks off. Let's get hype. TPS, Dan Vinky piece sets. I don't know if I'd want to play with Dan Vinky piece sets. It seems like it would be, I don't know, like... I, I guess maybe Dan does get luckier with pieces than I do, so. We're off and running. Game number one. Delala up a little high. Finally gets that bar for the first score. We're dead even tied. We're off and running. I'll be raising a good point as we get things kicked off. You can put money in the prize pool for absolutely free. Match Reno link has, what, 26 codes still available? That's that's actually not insignificant amount to add to the prize pool without even doing anything but clicking a button. Sten Bursary T. Checking out the bracket as the first thing to do. A great thing to do. Hey! Already seeing some contributions come in, and Huff is just yawning at it. Oh, goodness, did we wake you up, Huff? I'm sorry. So, early days here, 118 for Huff, 97 for Delala. Add a Tetris to go to 120. Very predictably neck and neck to start things off. Already got threats of sleep bands. Okay. Oh, with a bit of traffic, could be looking at a column. Yeah, that is a, that is a column nine Tetris well right now. The rest of the piece is not quite as cooperative, but there's a column 9 Tetris. 194, 192, we remain neck and neck. We'll see how this gets taken care of. Oh, beautifully, with a pair of bars back to back. Center well, or a uh, bar dependency in the center. Oh, and a couple of, couple of difficult pieces for Chalala. Gonna have to deal with some overhangs and now some burns. Off reopening the well. 201, 220. Lala about four lines ahead at the moment. And a shake of the head there. This uh, this board, that interesting overhang there in column eight. Huff taking some safety burns. A lot of room to work with. That rolling play style just making things so easy to maneuver. But Lala keeping pace for the time being. We're really only separated by about a Tetris right now. That awkward situation with the overhangs not really doing that much damage. Hi, Frenchie S. Fry. Uh, on comms is some strange short guy named Ian Keith. Off hasn't slept. Ah, he's taking my strategy. Don't sleep. It should probably work better for Huff than it did for me. Well, he took a melt. I mean, Huff did miss a Corian adjustment. Maybe, uh, maybe he did take Melatonin before the match. 
Ah, yes, it is uh, Burb Wizard on comms, clearly. Uh, co-hosted by T-Storm. Uh, double co-hosted by Buffering on Huff's side, but that ends really quickly. 351, 364, add another Tetris for Chalala. Keeping pace here as we get to the 90 line mark on both sides. Off another Tetris there up to 377. Ooh, bit of a missed drop of the SP, so gonna... Uh, quick double will clear things up in an unhelpful square. A couple more burns gonna be required. 412 to 380. So Chalala actually managing to open up almost a two Tetris lead here as we get around to the 100 line marker. I do think we woke Huff up, though. <laughs> 426, 481. Another Tetris for Huff. About a Tetris and a half difference. We go over the 110 line mark on both sides. Chalala gets the J for the tuck. And then, oh. Well, this board getting a little bit spicy real quick. So fast with these taps, though. There's the bar for the relief. 507, add another Tetris, take two, they're small, up to 530 for Jalala, 496 for Huff. A couple lines back, not enough to make it a difference, we're both still two Tetrises away from transition. Huff will get one up to 519. Jalala gonna transition at 557, 543 for Huff, it's a 14,000 point difference, here we go in the 19 speeds. Where the game picks up 50% speed increase, if you didn't know. Bar to Pensy in the center for Chalala. Gonna clear it away there, but couldn't use the bar for a Tetris. That's kind of a pain in the butt. Gets that one, though. 609 to 617. Huff has taken about an 8,000 8, point lead. Math! Question indeed being, does Huffleupagus have the Stuffleupagus in post? And I mean, with that rolling playstyle, you do get a lot more freedom of movement with these pieces. It's all about stacking them well. 648, 641. We're keeping this one close. Oh, Chalala missing out in a T tuck. Now has a T spin double set up. Oh, neat split double to burn it out, though. It has allowed Huff to take a little bit of a lead here. It's 678, 648. Huff stack not exactly perfect either. Gonna require a handful of burns to get out of this one. This will be Chalala's chance to get right back into this and. Perhaps retake the lead, but burns required on both sides. 682, 686. Huff is getting a little high on the board, but again, rolling. Just, you know, flick pieces around wherever you dang well feel like. And a J would be perfect. That combination also does both players nice and clean. Tetris for Huff up to 724. Chalala, 712. Separated by three lines. Huff is actually ahead in lines at the moment. Tetris for Chalala, 749 to 725 of Huff. Less than a Tetris difference. We're up on a level 24 now. So I'll actually set up for a row two, column four, Tetris. Get your bingo cards out. Trying to maintain that aggression here. Huff, you know, very capable of putting up some disgusting scores on 29+. plus. But Chalala trying to find every single point available. It's 826, 817, less than a 10,000 point difference now. Tetris for Huff into 26 to 858. Chalala there at 852. 6,000 points the difference. Another Tetris for Chalala. Down by 6k still as Huff got one as well. Nice fits there from Chalala. Great way to solve that. Excellent adjustment with a T. Oh, but that Z piece, not the greatest spot for it. Have to see how this gets burned out. All cleaned up now. Huff is at 970. Chalala, 923. Back by five lines. Covers up the well right before that bar comes. Huff into 28. At not, still on 973. Chalala there at 932. Last level before things get super fast. Chalala just burned away one of the available Tetrises. Gets one still. 976. Huff is in a kill screen at A18 and running. 
Kalala's board falling apart quickly, though. And this is really high up. There's only the one bird left available. 978. And that's going to be it for Kalala Huff at A28. We'll take game one. GG. We've got the Hover 3 from Chilala. That's just a fun name to say. Off typing something. Repping the TWO over there on the left hand side. There's a hover three from Huff. We've got a game two to play. Huff had the stuff in game one. And Chalala cool him off in game two. In three, two, one, Tetris. Tetris is a registered trademark of the Tetris company. All rights reserved. Start off game two. No AB. You cannot start the count for one of multiple reasons. Good effort, though. Good effort. Appreciate the uh, enthusiasm at getting games started. Our players have gotten started. Chalala's got two Tetrises. Huff's got one. No Savory Lobster. You cannot start the countdown either. Uh, I appreciate the sentiment, Rhubarb. Uh, close. Great, you tried. If you're out there watching this on YouTube and you want to see the shenanigans happen live. As Shalala sets up some interesting talks. Catch us here on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. We are predictably neck and neck here, early days in game two. 124, 139. Chalala's stack is uh, creative, but that was a fun double talk to see. Into the Vitz setup. Is the bar going to come? There's one bar, there's the Vitz, and there's the Tetris. A little bit of swag, a little bit of style points. One sixty nine for Huff, make it one ninety two. One eighty five for Chalala. Five lines back, actually. So, all those wild tuck setups actually working to keep Chalala just a smidge bit more efficient here. As the forty line mark. Uh, that one I don't think was an intentional tuck setup though, because there's nothing gonna tuck right in there. In fact, uh. Just a smattering of useless pieces here. This board kind of got Swiss cheesy in a hurry. Couple of bars for, for uh, split triple and a double will lower things down, give a little bit of breathing room. This is also going to give Hoff the chance to start building a lead here. It's 265, 263 with a two line difference, but Chalala's board struggling. Getting brought down. There's still a lot of holes pockmarking the bottom half of the stack. The touch us for Huff up to 289, 271 for Chalala. Let me get. Oh, we are set up for something real dirty here up on row four. The bar ever decides to show up at a useful time. There it is. There's a Tetris. A dirty Tetris for Chalala up to 299, 313 for Huff. 
who's got a squeaky clean board. Little whoop bits for Chalala. There's another bar as a reward for getting all the style points. High score on style so far. Off now with a hole at the very top of the stack after some very not handy Z pieces. Slinging some squares over to the left, waiting to burn things down a little bit here. And gets a very dirty well set up. Throw six dirty Tetris for Huff up to 387. Now some cleanup to do. Ooh! That's probably not where that bar was supposed to go. Gets another one over it though, that rolling playstyle letting you move pieces way, way faster than they basically have any right to. Jalala at 423, 394 for Huff. Jalala is six lines ahead at the moment, so that does explain some of the difference. Uh, actually, just playing up on row two right now. There's a bar dependency in the center of the stack. And the row two Tetris up to 448, 422. For Huff, ooh, perfect bar for Chalala, and back down to a completely normal-looking stack. I'd love to see it. Huff with a perfectly timed bar to fill in a dependency as well. We are closing in on transition here in game number two. Chalala, oh, shake of the head there. Didn't like how those pieces were going to resolve. But that Tetris will help. 478, 468. Huff's board nice and squeaky clean. Chalala just got a couple of delayed burns to take care of, but S's and Z's are not the pieces that are going to help that. Triple with that bar to the left. One Tetris left for Chalala at 485 right now. Huff is at 516 with two Tetrises left. And oh goodness, the pieces coming down for Chalala are really not going to make this transition easy. And none of them are bars. Shake of the head. That's just not happening. 486. Shalala is done. There's a T-spin. Eat your heart out. Zempro as Huff will take game two. Enough, not exactly getting the best RNG here. And, oh, yeah. See the reaction on Huff's face as well. Yeah, see, rhubarb, uh, rhubarb's got it right. Huff may in fact be styling his hair on camera. That's a good, uh, that's a good question. An important thing to do, especially if you just woke up in order to play Tetris. Start up an A, gifting a sub to PD Moreland. Thank you so much for that. Be here at CTM, do greatly appreciate it. And PD Moreland, enjoy all the bear emotes. We've got a game three to play, both players are hovering three, which is the game number that we are on. Huff is up 2-0. Chalala looking to try and steal the, uh, steal the broom away before Huff can use it. Let's see who gets a grip in 3, 2, 1. Tetris. Game one running all the way, very 
thrilling action. Game two, the game deciding to troll Chalala, and ooh, hang of a J on the left to start game three here as well. Could have thought about getting set up super dirty, but that, uh, we're gonna need to see some quick diving board cleanup here. Oh no! Delala tried to roll out of trouble in that one, but that is a quick finish to game number three. Chalala done at 4,900. Not the way you want to see it finish. Huff has scored Tetrises. Multiple of them. And that'll be enough to take game three and the match. Lala announcing a break from CTM for a while. Well, we all hope to see you back soon. Free to mull this out. Um, can't say we'll be watching it. We got to get our next match set up, but we'll be seeing you in round two right after our next match. GG's. Hey, everybody, this is your old pal, Vadweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly, and I'm asking you to do me a favor. If you like this video, Hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you and have a nice day.